Do you wish you could use your favorite Minecraft Java Edition texture pack on Bedrock Edition? But are you too stupid to figure out how to manually board it? Or just lazy like me? Well, don't worry, I spent the last couple of weeks programming a software that will do 99% of the work for you. Now let's get right into it. First things first, we need to install the program, of course. In the video's description, there's two Discord links, a vanity and a perm invite link. They both lead to the same server, so don't worry. In the server, you will see a category for the pack porter. We want to download the pack porter, of course, so we'll proceed to do so. There's also links for the Mega and Media Fire downloads included in this video's description if one or the other doesn't work for whatever reason. Once we've downloaded the pack border, there's a good chance your browser or antivirus will think this is malware. This is due to me not being a verified company developer or whatever. Simply click on the keep anyway option and make sure your antivirus allows the program on your machine. When you run the exe, Windows Defender most likely will start chimping out thinking that this is also malware. Once again, click more options and run anyway. And for those still afraid of this being a virus, you can check the GitHub page for this very program. I've left it completely open source, so not only those who are unsure of this program's intents can read the code themselves, but this is also a way for other developers who share the same interest in this kind of project to help critique and improve my code along with contribute new packporting methods. Anyways, once you have run the exe for the first time, it will most likely say you need Java 14 installed, as this is a Java program using the 14th Oracle release of Java. Press OK and this will open a mega download link in your default browser. This JDK 14 program is what installs Java 14 on your computer. Proceed to download and install the program. Once you have done that, you are finally able to start porting any Java edition pack you want. Alright, so now that we have the actual pack porter installed, I'll open it and the UI looks something like this. So you've got a command window which just kind of gives output and then we've got three buttons down below. We've got a settings tab, the pack porting tab, and a sky porting tab if you just want to port a sky and nothing else. So I'm first going to go over the settings tab. So what this is, is it gives you some presets and options for when you port a pack. So we've got a check mark box to determine whether if you want to automatically have the pack get turned into an MC pack folder um, or you just leave it as a normal folder. So you can check that on and off if you want. And then these are the two important ones is the pack save location and the sky save location. So when we're porting a pack this will basically be where it saves to and we can click on either of these buttons and we can actually determine where we want our packs to save to when we port them and the same goes for when we port a sky so I'll just do what I recommend you guys doing is making a folder on your desktop called pack porting and then inside of it we'll make two folders we'll call the packs a new folder called skies and what we can do is we can set our default porting locations to where they save to the folders we just made. And then make sure to press apply. And if you ever mess up your locations, there's always a reset to default button. But remember to press apply for every change you make that you want to save. And from there, it gets into actually porting the pack. So the, these next part is pretty important too. So you can just like go on YouTube, find any Java pack folder video that you want. Anyone's any pretty much anything's fine. You know, like Bedwars packs, 1.7.10 to 1.8.9 packs, all those should work for this. And once you have your pack downloaded, um, I just have an already downloaded pack on my desktop, a Gengar pack. So you need to do exactly what I do, is you need to extract the pack. Alright, so now that we've extracted the pack, you want to make sure that it looks like this. It needs to have an assets folder, and it needs to have pack.mcmeta. These two things are what matters most, because this assets folder 
holds literally the whole pack's assets, and then this pack.mc meta is basically the manifest file that we read from. So, to start a port, click on the select pack to port folder button, and then now pay attention, you can just click on this, and it will have the directory down in the folder name, and then you can just press open. And you will see that the button says currently porting pack, so just be patient. And when it's done, depending on your PC speed and how big the pack is, it will say successfully ported pack, and then you can copy the directory actually and Windows run it. But since we have our saved location, we know where it's saved in our packs. So it's right here, so we can run it. And this should auto import it. And now we have our pack in. Alright, so now that we have our pack in, activate it like normal. And you will notice um, it'll say the original pack's name formatted just how it would look on Java Edition. It'll say the original pack maker's name, and then it will also have a slight watermark saying that it was ported with my auto port. And that's literally the only watermark, is simply in the details of how it was ported. So let's go test out the pack and see how it looks. And yeah, it's ported successfully. It ported the sky armor. It even ported the potions. So yeah, I've. That's basically it. That's how you port packs. Now I'll quickly show how to port a sky. So basically a sky image basically looks something like this for Java Edition. And for Bedrock Edition, it looks like a bunch of cut up squares of this. So this would be like cube map five, I think cube map four, three, two, one, zero, something like that. So you click port sky and you can just click on the PNG right on your desktop and porting skies should go pretty quick so it's ported it to our save directory skies and there you have a ported sky that quick so that's basically how you do it so yeah thanks for watching um join my discord server if you have any questions if you have any bugs to report because no software can be perfect and i definitely know there's a few errors with like the background images sometimes they'll be like black and white in the background due to the alpha channels and stuff like that which is really annoying and you can also comment down any issues you have too so yep yeah, thanks for watching see ya